denied Pickens County is spending $10 million to buy a new radio system for their first responders. They say it will improve communication during emergencies. 7 News' Chloe Salsameda tells us more about the plan. Right now, firefighters, police officers, and other first responders in Pickens County all use different radio systems. They say this can make it difficult to communicate with each other. This radio is used by firefighters in Pickens County. If you go next door to the police department, officers there use a different radio that's on a different frequency. Most of our law enforcement agencies are on a UHF system, fire and EMS are on a VHF, and then our partners down in Clemson area are on the PAL 800 system. The county's director of emergency services says this makes it difficult for first responders to communicate with each other. So if you had a, a law enforcement officer that was on UHF and they needed to communicate with a, a fire engine or a fire officer or an EMS unit, they would literally have to call through the dispatch center and the dispatch center would have to relay that information. So you can imagine that would cause a little bit of a delay. At this week's meeting, county council voted to spend $10.3 million it received from the American Rescue Plan to buy a new system that will allow all first responders in the county to communicate with each other through their radios. Getting us all on one common platform where our radios are able to talk to each other will not only enhance our responder safety, but that will in turn enhance our safety to our citizens. Ten new towers will be installed throughout Pickens County to give first responders the best coverage. Once they're in place, Pickens County will also be able to communicate with first responders in surrounding counties. We'll be able to talk to get to each other on, the, on a common radio system because we'll be on a common frequency. The county is hopeful this will help their crews respond to emergencies more effectively and efficiently. No matter if we're responding to a fire or to a, a law enforcement incident, those few minutes, those few seconds can make a huge difference. The county says they hope to have the new radio system implemented in the next 12 to 18 months. In Pickens County, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.